sit here for hours <laughs> talking about this. No, you'll never guess, but there's a silent issue between Asians and school. Bro, no way. All you guys do is study and get straight A's. See, so I asked Harvard students what their thoughts on merit versus representation was. This led to conversations about the lawsuit that alleges that Harvard makes it specifically harder for Asians to get in. To explore the truth, I interviewed students, investigated Harvard's admission practices, and even dug deep to uncover motives. By the end, you'll find out exactly why this issue impacts everyone, even if you aren't Asian. <laughs> well, too bad nobody cares about Asians. Like in Harvard, it's more difficult for Asian people to get in than anybody else. There's a lawsuit about, about it right now. Quick context in the lawsuit. The plaintiffs are arguing that Asians have the lowest chance of admission of any race, and to get in, they need to have substantially higher test scores, grades, and extracurricular achievement. And even though Asians are scoring high in these face-to-face -face alumni interviews, they started downgrading Asians on personality. A judge in 2019 said that Harvard is doing nothing wrong, but now it's actually at the Supreme Court waiting an appeal. So now, let's hear from the students themselves. You think Harvard has done a good job of that? <laughs> there is some form of discrimination, but Harvard's trying its best. Students can help foster like what kind of environment they want for themselves. Well, in that sense, they've had lawsuits from Asians against Harvard, right? I kind of fall on the institution. The institutions are the gatekeepers. What do you guys think? That's a very good question. It was hard to get them to speak their truth, let alone be interested in interviewing, and I don't blame them. It's not really an easy conversation to have on the street. So it was time to rethink my strategy and find the students that were willing to speak their truth. Good place to start is with someone I already know. So I decided to hit up a friend from high school who graduated from Harvard and see if he would be down for a sit down interview. He wasn't, but he said he'd be happy to ask his other Harvard friends. I knew that at least one person would be down. So a couple days later, I get a text back from our friend saying that none of his friends were interested. And I asked him if they gave any reasons why why? One person's reason was that since he already got in and graduated, he didn't care about the issue anymore. To be honest, that was frustrating to hear, but now let's hear from the students who actually did have something to say. I did feel this extra pressure when I was applying in a way. As an Asian man, I was sort of like a, what would we call like an overrepresented minority and like there are a lot of problems there, but diversity, but at the cost of someone else is like very misplaced. Very valid outrage of Asian Americans is co-opted, being anti-affirmative action, which I don't support. Edward Blum is the one who handles the lawsuits and trying to overturn affirmative actions in other universities. So who is Edward Blum? The quota today is against Asians, much like the quota back in the 1920s and 30s was against Jews. If you take a closer look at Edward Blum's history, it can really tell you the importance of speaking your own truth. Previously, Blum was involved in Fisher vs. University of Texas, which was another race discrimination suit in a mission. But this time, it was with white students. It was after losing that case that Blum decided to try again, but this time with a different angle. Asians in heart. I'm, I'm anti the lawsuit, just to clarify. That system exists for a reason, and that's to empower others who've been also systemically oppressed. But I'll challenge you on that. Asians only make up 6% of Americans. So in the grandness of terms, we are minorities. We're essentially being pe penalized for hard work and success. It's 6% going into, what, 20% of the Harvard population? We are in, in that certain way. We are overrepresented. I think it's more unfortunate to affect other groups. I think that's unfortunately the trade-off that we have to make. Whether Blum actually gives a shit about Asians or not is unknown. But what's clear is that Blum's main objective is to end race considerations and omissions. You can say that he's using the frustrations of Asians to do so. Because if you don't speak your truth, someone else will do it for you. At this point, I still didn't have anyone to interview, and it was time to create my own opportunity. And what I realized during these shoot interviews is that you can meet some pretty cool people through it. I decided to reach out to one of the students that I met over Instagram, and almost immediately, I get a reply saying that she's down. And so we decided to set up a time, but then 20 minutes before the interview, so let me be clear that I 100% always respect their decision, but I'd be lying to say if I wasn't frustrated. At this point, I've asked so many of my fellow Asians and I couldn't stop but think, is this the root of the problem? Is this just another example of Asians choosing not to speak out? But then, so just to kind of sink the, yeah. what, what yeah. do you want? Yeah, what? do you want to get dinner? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I'm almost done editing this video. Just hold on one second. If you couldn't guess, the person that I interviewed requested that I delete her part in the video. After I sent them the edit of the draft of the video, they thought that the topic was too controversial and didn't want to risk any potential misrepresentation. I'm not gonna lie and say that I'm not disappointed. My goal with this video was to allow students to speak their unfiltered truth, but for this video, I'm gonna have to give up on that. So let's move on and hear from the streets on a huge aspect of admissions that nobody ever talks about.
how would you explain maybe a couple of legacy admissions? Because I know that's also big here too, right? I'm going to guess maybe majority of those are white people. That doesn't seem to be penalized. Yeah, we let in legacies, but because of their donations, that offsets and obviously allows for financial money talks. Right, exactly. It is obviously a tough conversation, especially when paired with the Asian American one, right. where it's like, okay, you have these people who apparently on merit don't get in, but then are not, not as much merit do get in. Especially if it's like sacrificing people who are deserving, you know? Exactly, especially yeah. from lower income backgrounds. I know incredible, incredible Asians and Asian Americans who didn't get here for like literally un unintelligible reasons, right? If you want to get into Harvard, your best bet is being a legacy. Even though the mission rate for normal applicants is around three to six percent, legacies, it's 33. Yeah, I say speak your truth, but can feel pretty pointless when money speaks in louder volumes. I, I feel like a lot of us need to speak our truth more. Why should we cower about the facts? Extremely harder for you guys to get in. Or, let's been, not sure yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always tough, especially in a place like here when everyone tends to follow a certain mindset and it's hard to like think outside of that sometimes. If you made it this far, you might be wondering, why should I care if I'm not Asian? Because when money dictates the rules of an arbitrary process, anyone can be impacted. In 2019, a nationwide scandal involving college officials and high-profile celebrities exposed the college admission process. Colleges like USC accepted donations, bribes from celebs to admit their kids as fake athletic recruits. For example, the USC crew team. I mean, imagine working your ass off your entire life and losing your spot to college to people who've never touched a paddle in their life. Yeah, imagine, right? As long as colleges like Harvard are a business, merit versus representation doesn't matter. It may sound hopeless, but money power connections will always transcend both. But even with all that said, speak your truth or else someone else will do it for you.